Hi guys, good evening, happy Sunday, welcome to the new episode of Rosie Psycho Investigator. <laughs> so guys, I hope you're having a good Sunday, yeah. And uh, it's it's nice and fall, you know, fall in New York, it's nice, but today, but it, it's the moment when the leaves are falling, you know, they really are falling on the, it's nice when the, it gets wet and then when it starts falling the ground, it's a little sad. No, don't go. Leave. Don't go. Anyway, so I have three questions, guys, okay? One question that somebody had brought up, a couple of you brought up on YouTube, and reminded me of a reading I did probably many months ago, okay, on Nancy Pelosi. So, so uh, when I did this reading on Nancy Pelosi, okay, it showed that and, and and before I tell you the story, I just wanted to say that when I was doing the reading itself, I didn't know that there was a possibility that she could be in the White House in any way. Because the, the reading showed, and I remember after afterwards, I think I wrote something in the comments because people started saying, "Well, actually, if if." Uh, Paul Ryan is not there, then she could potentially, or if she becomes Speaker of the House, then she, if Trump leaves, she could potentially, I mean, she's on the line to, to become. So, so this, this reminded me, okay, reminded me of what I had seen, okay, because that's what I saw. I saw that she, and at the time I thought, oh, maybe it's the, is the house, is it the house, the house, um, how's the representative but for some reason I remember I don't I haven't gone back and watched that reading again or looked at the cards that were on that reading but for so I remember really well that it didn't seem like it was actually the house of representative it was the White House and I was like weird okay so or whatever you know we never so now we are at a time where it's very likely that the Democrats will take over the house and if Trump leaves will Nancy Pelosi become inter interim president because that's what it looked like. Okay, and I remember also I had done a on a reading that it was about what happens after Trump leaves. I remember she also popped up as po possibly being the person. So I just wanted to confirm. Okay, so so whether she she could become the interim president. Well, I don't know what it what it's called until the twenty twenty elections come up if Trump leaves. Okay, so that's number one first question. Second question is. Trump has been talking about this a long, for a long time, about how he's going to fire, or the news, or there's just a lot of talk about how Sessions is going to leave after after the midterm elections, okay? And if so, is he going to leave after midterm elections? And what about this guy, Noel Francisco, that it was on the news, that he has some sort of waiver that will allow him to not recuse himself, okay? So... So that's that's a pretty complex question. It's about two people essentially. Okay, so and then the last question somebody in the Patreon group asked Sharon. She asked, "What is the fate of the NRA after the midterm elections?" Oh, and something else. This is bringing up, guys. Okay, will the Republicans try some, you know, to pass some shady bills in the period? between midterm elections and and January okay when the new when the new people come in okay guys I realize it's a lot of questions and those questions are intense so so maybe I may not do all of it now okay so but let me get started with I want to do the question on Nancy Pelosi because I kind of have the sense that this is the moment to do it. Okay, so so let me do a version. Okay, on Nancy Pelosi. Okay, and then this these types of questions I like having cards just because it's it's a yes or no kind of situation. Okay, or right, it 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 just is helpful uh, generally. So let me start question by question, doing the vision and then the cards. Okay, so what's going to happen to Nancy Pelosi? after the midterm elections what are the chances that she becomes well you know what no the question is there's one question will nancy pelosi what are the chances that nancy pelosi could become interim president 
if Trump leaves. Okay, because by the way, guys, if, if you've seen, if you've been in the group since I started doing the Mueller interviews, there's one reading where I look into Paul Ryan and, and Turtle, and they don't, none of, neither of one. It's not, it's not going to happen. Okay, so, so this is why. So let me just ask. Okay, so, so dear. Around the bank, bubble the light. Wrap me up. Around the bank, bubble the light. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, what are the chances that Nancy Pelosi will become president if Trump leaves? Guys, I'll tell you something before I get. I'm starting the reading. It's happened in personal readings that I've done lately that I start talking, and I think maybe it's a consequence of like all this practice and also doing those quote unquote Mueller interview, the interview type readings, that I start talking and it becomes not that I lose track of it, but it basically I don't have time to interpret. Okay, so it starts going faster, and it's a good thing. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. This is the sense. That as I was starting to do the reading, it was going to start, it's sort of like I talk, 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 okay, without thinking, which is good. So, so that's what's going to happen. Okay, so what's going to, I sense that it's going to happen, so let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so what about this? Is she going to become, go to the White House if Trump leaves? And, and if the whole thing, obviously, not just Trump, but the whole crew, the whole administration is seen, is, is determined to be corrupt, what happens, Okay. Nancy Pelosi has been trained her whole life to tackle all kinds of le legislative issues. She is a master at what she does. She's a, an absolutely fantastic politician in terms of just as Mitch McConnell understands the dark side, I think she understands how to get things done also in a different way. This is why she's attacked so often. This is why they try to put her down because they know that as long as she's in Congress, the Democrats will know how to get the bills done. Okay, so... Yes, she's been prepared and she has a lot of, she's had a lot of hardships. She, but she's, and, and I want it to, I don't want it to be like a minimizer, but she's like a woman of steel. Nothing can hit her. Okay. So what happens is she's the kind of person who, who has the ability to, like I said, to get all these things done. So she has been prepared. She, she's living her, her role. This is what she's good at. Um, which she is not the type of person who was ever really wanting to become a president. That's not something she really cared for necessarily. Uh, but she she's very likely to to get to that position because of the circumstances that will surround her. Okay, because the guy guys just saw it was like a st I stopped. I was like, okay. So tell me more. I mean, it's it's a little bit hard to believe, but tell me how it's going to happen. Tell me how it's going to go down. The circumstances that are going to happen in the next two to two to six weeks, starting after the election, but with all the changes related to all the people in Congress coming in and all the people who are corrupt probably being indicted and in some ways being removed from Congress, there is just something that's going to happen at a degree where things like this have never happened before. So it just so happens that she is the kind of person who is going to be the next in line. I see here this image of a woman. She's like, I see this image, guys. It's like she's, uh, imagine if, uh, have you seen the architectural um, maquettes? Okay, when there's uh, the building, there's a, a person made out of, a little person made out of plastic, and they move the person around. It's kind of like she just happens to be, it's a bad example, but it's showing that she just happens to be in, in the right place at the right time. Okay, so in the sense that it's not that she wanted to do this necessarily, but it's a twist of fate, and she was prepared for it with all her legislative acumen. And actually, this is the skill set that's going to be needed in the interim government until there is a new president in place. Okay, so so how is this going to come through? How is this going to happen? First, there will be likely the indictments of the NRA people and all the Republicans, a, a handful, no, very few Democrats perhaps, but there's just, a lot of people who are connected to this whole Russia thing, there's a lot of the usual suspects that we think there's just a lot of people who are going to be hit with this. Okay, so so then the, the, the line of secession is going to be thought to be 
invalid and the way that it is today is going to change dramatically okay so what happens is she's going to be the speaker of the house and then she's going to be the person who's going to take over as president okay because pence is going to be pence is not going to be um pence is not going to be available the turtle and uh paul ryan all those people so so basically it shows that she's going to be taking over and that it's a lot of administrative the good thing about having her there is because like i said she knows so much about legislative issues that she understands how to get things done how to invalidate some of these you know these things they've, they've accomplished you know they've accomplished they've pushed through okay so so for her it's kind of a natural war in that she is she is um getting things done for her it's not there, there will be a change of protocol there will be a change of she has access to her more power but at the same time she's so familiar with the process that it's a perfect person to take this over right now so she's prepared she's been prepared it's written quote unquote written in the stars that she is supposed to take this role okay so then i'm going to play the devil's advocate here okay so what if this is crazy you know what if i what are Tell me, I'm a little bit doubtful almost, okay? I understand you're giving me the clarity and a lot of information, but give me, I, I just want to know how How do we know this is going to happen? It seems so far-fetched. It's not far-fetched if you have access to the truth, if you have access to all the information, this is going to seem ex extremely natural because the degree of corruption, the degree of treason that we will see to be taking place in this current administration right now it will demand that somebody who's an outsider to to the circumstance take over because this the gravity and the seriousness of treason really is is really unprecedented okay so so that's it okay so all right so how how mad are the republic aren't the republicans because can imagine to them it's like they're constantly they're always scapegoating Nancy Pelosi. Aren't they going to be so mad that she's going to be... Okay. Well, those people are not going to be there anymore. The people that keep pumping all the propaganda, they keep pumping the hate speech, they're not going to be there because a lot of them are going to be removed. They're going to be indicted. They're going to be in prison. So so it's going to be that there's a completely different country from until now, until three or four months. It's going to be a very, very different situation. So... So I understand the main, most important part here is that Trump leaves. Obviously, she's not going to take over if she's still. He's, well, how is this? How does this happen? The circumstance of Trump leaving and she coming in. How does this happen? Trump is under pressure. Yes, Mueller has pushed for him to to meet him. Mueller is push putting pressure and pressure and pressure, and he's pretending. He's creating this bizarre narrative, but the truth is. He can't escape this and more stuff is going to come out. There's going to be a lot of indictments. There's going to be the burning of the bridges of the people who enable him. Okay, so, and talk, talk discussing Russians, discussing Republicans. So, he it's going to come to a point where he's going to be against the wall. He's not going to, he, does, he still doesn't want to leave. He's looking for some sort of proposal for him to leave. He wants money to leave. It's like he's basically taking the country under hostage, but... What we see here is that he is just going to be, I don't know, forced to leave is not the right word, but they're saying, look, you're going to be indicted right now. We have you for, we have all well, this is the evidence that we have. This is the kind of thing that you've seen before. This is the evidence that we have. We have all of this. You have the chance of you leaving now, or we have, or it's going to be harsher. There, there's a way in which. He's going to be forced to leave because the evidence is overwhelming. And there's going to, and I see here, guys, Putin putting information out there about their treason, okay, or something really embarrassing about Trump. Even that, then he doesn't want to leave because he's like, it's showing that Trump is like, he's using the presidency as a shield, okay? So he thinks that he needs to be there, not because he cares about being president, because that's the only way that he's going to not be prosecuted, okay? So, so this is, comes, okay, so Shane. Guys, and timing, like I said, you know, I've seen the timing and it never, it, it, it pushes forward, okay? So I kind of see, I've seen before something where the White House is empty, it's kind of late in the holidays, there's very few people around, but I see that a 
like early January, he's freaking out, and then towards February, I think he might be gone. You know, don't don't worry too much about timing, but I'm just articulating it so that I can understand how and when will Nancy Pelosi come come around. Because okay, so so it shows that when the actual new Congress comes out, comes around in January, that's when trouble begins for him because he no longer can just do whatever the fuck he wants. Okay, he has to answer to some people, and he doesn't want to, and it's just like he's he's not become he's not doing the job basically. Okay, so then. I feel like he resigns, he's like, but it's, you know, he's kind of goes on a kind of crazy kind of, but guys, you know, people ask me, is Trump crazy? I think he's a, just as crazy as um, Ted Bundy was crazy. You know, it's like those people function well in life. You know, they just have this sociopathy. I don't know that it's the same. Okay. I think he uses this craziness to, to, um, he isn't. He is crazy. Okay, already. I don't know that you need the. He, you know, whether he's like a, uh, what is it called? He's incapable. He's just. He is incapable, and he's. But I don't think this is the issue necessarily. It's just that he has a, uh, an evil twistedness about him that is worse than dementia itself. Okay, so, so anyway, so that's that. Because he's trying to kind of come off as. He's gonna try towards the end to appear crazier than he is. He's not even at his worst to kind of like, oh, I'm crazy, you know, to try to be like gigante. But still, he's going to have to leave. Okay, so, okay, so how does Nancy Pelosi, yeah, so she's a house speaker and all those other people are compromised. So, so she's going to, it's going to be like, a, I don't see a lot of fanfare, really. I feel like people are going to be, sh those people will, yeah. Kavanaugh is going to be very upset, really. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Because guys, you know, those people felt they feel like crushed them, them. And suddenly comes Nancy Pelosi, you know, reviled, competent woman takes over. You know, this is what I feel like. It's, it's very possible. Okay, so so let me stop now and do card, okay? Because I feel like it could be that the cards because I have this this seems very clear to me here, very logical, but I want to know if it's possible, okay? So with the cards, okay, so all right, so I'm gonna stop here and start the cards. Okay. Okay, guys. So I've I've shuffled the cards. Okay. And I'm going to now shuffle and cut them. I think now I'm gonna put them out. Okay. So all right. So let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's start with the. Okay, guys, so there's a lot of different sets of cards here. So this Queen of Pentacles could be a woman. It could be women in general, but it could also be something financial, something here is the past, childhood, and victory, okay, going forward. So then we have here, we have a deal, okay, a ring. Lily is usually is older man. It could also, yeah, it's usually a man, and it could also be uh, somebody who has a lot of experience. This could be her. Could also be um, a snake, right? In the sense that this could be Trump, because a deal about 
what somebody experienced because of treason, okay? So the deal about this treason of Trump, something like that, okay? Then we have here court person. This usually I connect this to the Department of Justice. You're receiving a gift, meaning um, an offer. Okay, this could be an offer. This is a mullah, right? So, so. Then we have okay, a lot of cards, huh? Okay, so worry letter. What is that? Oh, here. Okay, so. Okay, so guys, I just, I think the other ones doesn't really matter too much. The extra ones are not particularly relevant. Okay, so, so it's showing this, guys, I want to talk about this because this is a card of children. This is a card of the past and, and going back to something about, something related to values, okay? And this is, like I said, victory or, or change of some sort, okay? So this is what I think is, what it looks like here, okay, is that, there is a problem obviously there is a deal because of the corruption of the older man and we have to go back to the the values the good values okay Mueller makes an offer okay this usually receiving a gift meaning it, it it has two several meanings but he if we read here it would say mean that trump has that money so that would invalidate him but if you read like this Mueller makes an offer through the Department of Justice or with the Department of Justice okay and then we have here a letter now letters probably could be his findings okay findings expectations or it could this is also a card of time it could become within 90 days and then this is a situation of somebody worried okay I wrote here sadness, depression, mental illness. Could also be the Trump, you know, could be the thing about Trump being crazy. Okay, I wonder somehow if if it could be if it could go that route, you know, the one that says that you could impeach try to impeach him because he's he's incapable, it's true already. We don't need that anything else. Now this is what's interesting here, this card like this, unexpected. Okay, unexpected and soon at the same time. And here we need this is loyalty and stability right constanza is something that happens over time that has been there for a long time perseverance so continue if i look at this what does this mean it means that this is there's a deal here with this woman okay because something unexpected happens as a result of Mueller's findings okay and then going back to the good values because the good values, you know, this is just one more here, guys. Yeah, something hidden. This is, it could be that this is, could be Trump and his hidden stuff, okay, his hidden bullshit. So, you see, because the stuff that was hidden is, is uncovered, and and it has to do with finances. So, we need, we're going to need expectations, also longing. We're going to need sincerity, loyalty, right? So, who do we trust? Who has been there all along? Okay. And then we have your victory over the snake, right? The, the traitor. This is um, the pardon of justice, the law, the courts. This is worry. And because, you know, he, he's unfit, right? He's unfit, if anything. And then we need to go, we need to maintain stability, right? So this would be their circumstances of, of Nancy Pelosi. Okay, so, so now tell me... Is where she's going where is Nancy Pelosi going to be let's say let's say by next summer well where will Nancy Pelosi be okay so let's see so 
So guys, I just want to talk about this. Okay, just because I think it's important. This is a card of defeat. And it's upside down. So I see it as she helped cause a defeat. This is after the bad. This is messages or news. Bad news, okay. And creating a defeat and a new beginning, okay. So this is a very important card called the key. That means the answer, okay. The fish has to do with money. It has to do with abundance. I think in this way, it's an important this is a stability. So it's interesting that the cards are referring a lot to stability. So she is a way to maintain, for us to maintain some sort of stability after the whole mess happens. Okay, so let's look here. Oh, look, the, the gentleman. This is could be Trump, could also be a donor. Let's see here. Yes, yeah, so short illness, guys. Remember the whole thing. I think it, the cards are indicating that Trump, that Trump is an uncap unfit to serve, basically. And that's what it looks like. Journey could be something foreign, but it could also mean that he leaves. You see what I mean? So it's like he's unfit. There's an illness, and I obviously some sort of mental illness, unable, unfit to serve. He has to leave. Now, I want to talk about something um, for one second here. Okay. Um, you know, I think I've talked about this before, or maybe someone else may have said this too. Because what the cards are indicating, and not necessarily the vision, is that Trump, like, Mueller has all the evidence, okay, about his treason. But he's going to push, he's kind of going to, I feel like, make some sort of deal with Trump where he's going to be able to get away to leave the government with the excuse that he is unfit to serve, that he's ill, okay? Which I think he is, but you see what I'm saying? It's sort of like, Mueller offers him, oh, look, if you want to be known for treason, you could stay and we're going to go after you. Or you can leave and be known for being crazy and incompetent. You see what I'm saying? So this is what it's indicating here. Okay, It's indicating that he's incompetent, he's sick, which he is in every level, on every level, and that he leaves. It could also indicate that he's unfit to serve because, okay, like I was going to say, he's unfit to serve, he's sick because of the foreign power. Either, either one, I think it it has a, it doesn't necessarily alter the meaning, but whether he, he leaves because he's sick or whether the sickness has to do with his involvement with the Russia stuff, we, the end is the same. Okay, so, okay, so then here, this is something private, one Sima, living room. Okay, and then court, Gericht is court. Oh, prison, really? No, really? Really? No, <laughs> really? Interesting. So, guys, I feel like it, it, behind the scenes, there's courts make the decision to put people in jails. Really? Uh -huh. I wonder why. Really? No. Oh, look, the thought. Oh, interesting. So she is the solution. She offers the solution, right? So that's the solution. It's not. This does not necessarily represent her, but I think it represents the solution. So, in light of all the overturning Trump, right? In private. This is the solution. So the courts come to the decision that this is the solution. Okay. Okay. And then, oh, look, very interesting. So desperate. This is a card that Desperato per Gelosia. Now, this card, guys, I used to see, you know, it used to come up a lot when I did mostly card readings. You can see here the guy has a gun, okay, to his head. So this is a card that, that means action okay this is not just something that somebody's doing it's a card that has to do with something that you've done out of desperation out of um uh, impulse okay so so um okay so it's a, it's a serious situation and because when it's upright it means that the action is still happening okay that is like it's a difficult situation it's guys that literally if you think about trump like he's, he's putting us in the hostage okay he has a gun like literally okay so it's happening okay no, let's lower this. Okay. And then here, oh, this piacere unpleasantness. Okay, so moving on from something really unpleasant. So so here, guys, just looking again, this is the bad news about probably about finances or connected to some sort of finances that would prove his his shadiness. And also could also be if you think of a country's abundance, right? Stability, right? In a way it's a form of abundance. Um but right, it's sort of like the, the abundance of the countries at stake, he is unable to serve. The courts rule something because these are desperate times. Okay, this is a very serious times, right? I think of it this way. 
So desperate situation means that we need to find a solution in order to move on from the this bad news that we received. And again, in the context here, this is an issue, so solution to the problem, serious problem of Trump, the new beginning, creating stability after Trump leaves, people go to prison and we're moving on from the ne so negative news. So, so guys, what's interesting here is that you see, it's kind of interesting because it's not, again, it shows that whatever her role is going to be, it's not even like, oh, she, you know, it has, it's like, there's no ego here. Okay. It's the situation that I understand here is that it's not an ego or ego thing. Okay. So, because it's like, we need a solution to this serious situation that's happening and, and that's what happens. Okay. So, so that's what happens. And, uh, is Nancy gonna be, is Nancy gonna be, yeah, so, I just pull on more cards, guys, I feel like, the situation I see here is that, it's gonna be, among, I think it's, I don't know that she's gonna be, she's gonna leave this, I think what she's gonna happen, she's gonna leave this commission to move on, like, the process of the interim government is not going to be the same as having a traditional president. It's going to be a lot of like having to fix so many things. Okay, it's going to be so much work. So, but that's what I feel like, guys. That's what it's showing. Okay, so it's not going to be like, oh, miss, she's the president. I could do it. not the same role. No, it's just going to be a kind of a maintaining order. Okay, because once we lift, once the once Trump leaves and the lid is lifted over everything that's happening, it's going to be very difficult. Okay, so, you know, it's going to be a lot to deal with. It's intense. So, what is going to be her role or job? If anything, let's just see quickly. So yeah, it's just gonna be like kind of like trying to put things back in order because the cards are pretty serious. Just I don't need to go into this is like star recognition of this is quotes it like there's a there's an illness here an ending, the military comes and this is death. Okay, an ending, right? So so it's we need to put something in place and that's it. It's not there's nothing you know you thought oh great it's like what if Nancy Pelosi. Is going to be no i think it's going to be a very serious situation that we're going to need we're going to need a uh, reliable leadership which which she would be okay so that's that is she going to be in the white house is going to be in the white house oh oh look she's going to be in the white house okay let me get here Oh, yeah. Yeah, so wow, look guys, wow. Okay, this was like this, by the way. So this, let's just do it like this, okay? Just because I, I was like, you know, I still have a little question. A little question. So this is like, focus on one thing. This is unfocused, lack of focus. So it's going to be a mess, total chaos, okay? What house? Yeah, what house? And then here, big luck. Okay, this is a card of big luck, great fortune. So this is, this would mean it's a yes, she would go just because the next. Now we have interesting because this is a stunza. Stunza means private room. Okay, so I would think this would mean that she could move there. This becomes the private room. So There's also uh, secret communications. Now this, the two cards that come, that follow are very interesting because then we have theft, right? And we have inconstanza. Now, see, this is this would be like the the person leaves. So you see what I'm saying? So there's a lot of chaos in the White House related to the White House. So and it so that we get a blessing, right? She gets a blessing in the sense I think she goes because there's has been private communications that suggest that Trump is he's stolen things and leave so inconstanza means both craziness and also somebody leaving okay so so you see what i'm saying so i feel like because of the it, it, 
again and again, it's suggesting that because of the amount of chaos, we're going to need some sort of stability. And yes, it looks like she could very well move into the White House. Gonna be president. Again, White House. Yeah. So this is interesting, guys. I'm oh, sorry. This is the card, the spy card. Okay. So the revelation of the spy. Then we have a change. He leaves. So somebody leaving it could be because this is movement. Okay. So it's usually change, but it could be that the spy has to leave. And here's the house, okay, the house leaves the house, or there's a change to the White House. And this is interesting because this is a lack of inexperience mistake, okay, so the guy, this was a big mistake having this shady guy, okay, and then there's a deal, this is marriage, and there's money here. So I think, guys, you know what? Yeah, it's, it's also just that this is a consequence, again, of whatever happens related to Trump, it's a natural consequence. It's not something that that it's even. It's neither glamorous nor it's something that she was pursuing. Okay, it just kind of happens because it's going to be. It shows it's going to be serious chaos here. Okay, so it's a good and bad. Okay, so all right, I'm gonna stop. Okay, bye.